rats 10 years ago, and now they're back. We're about to hunt them down right now. So my customers behind me have been living in this house for many years. 10 years ago when they first experienced rat infestation, they were hearing noises in the attic and so forth. So they're back 10 years later, they're hearing them in some walls and the attic. So let's go inside and I'll show you what's going on. You can see that their house is has a lot of trees overhang. It's a, uh, it's a high pitched roof. The good thing about it is that it's got a lot of attic space. But you can see trees like this, guys, that overhang on a house is always uh, sort of an issue sometimes when it comes to uh, roof rats. And also there's some citrus trees as well. So that's always a food source for rats. So there's a crawl space right here. So we're going to have to remove this to access that crawl space. It looks like a pretty big one. All right, I'm going to head up to the roof. Little sketchy. Got solar panels. So I'm going to have to walk up that ridge right there and then... There's a vent right over there, so I'm gonna go check on those. This roof is super, super slippery because it's on a on a slant here, guys. We're gonna have to kind of make slowly make our way over. Hang on to these solar panels. This electrical here. Look at how the pitch is. So here's the first vent. Doesn't smell. I gotta head up that way right there to that ABS. Whoa! Whew. So there's that ABS. It's going underneath that solar panel right there. See that? So maybe the solar guys, perhaps they did something and altered the plumbing here. Let's, let's go check it out. There's the other big vent right there for the toilet. That's that bathroom. So we gotta head that way. Shows you how steep this roof is here. I'm supporting myself with the uh, with the solar panels here. Mm -mm. Not smelling any signs of sewer rats but this is a uh, this is a high roof so we still need to do the smoke test because they're they're behind their the activities behind that tub in that wall uh, between the tub and the toilet this roof has a huge pitch all right so we've got the uh, smoke machine hose inside the vent here all right now that the smoke machine is going I'm gonna go underneath the house and see if we can detect any smoke let's go Alright, so it looks like the sewer flows this way towards the back. I thought it was towards the front. There's the bathroom over there that she's hearing the noises. So we're gonna head over there. There's some rat traps already. There's one, two, three rat traps. There's a dead carcass right here. I see some signs right there, guys. There's rat droppings right there. Yeah, look at all this. This loose material right here. So there's the tub right there. So these are all signs right here, guys. If you see a lot of loose debris, bringing in nesting along with rat, rat droppings. All right, guys, so I'm laying on my back here. And I've got my uh, ferret camera inside there. Let me show you what I'm seeing here. See all the, the black there? Those are rat droppings. Uh, you can see where I've got my ferret camera where the light is inside there, guys. So that's where uh, we're seeing a lot of the droppings. We're going to now have to insert smoke because we figured out where the sewer uh, system is. Let me show you. All right, guys. So the sewer line goes back out this way. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut. Uh, we put the balloon inside the sewer. Oh, you can see the uh, our balloon. That's where the sewer main is right there. So... <clears throat> Here's a, uh, a four inch combi right there. That's where we want to introduce the smoke. So now that we've got that capped off, I'm going to go ahead and introduce the smoke from underneath here. Yeah, we'll cut it a little bit. Yeah, cut it right there, dead center, nice and straight. You could see some of our uh, residual smoke coming out of the line, but we want to get a lot more smoke in that line right now. All right, so we've got smoke here, guys. 
All right, getting a little bit of a smoke there at that connection. We're getting smoke up there. So we're getting some smoke right here coming out of that, uh, that three inch there. So we know we have two breaches there at the four inch vent stack. And then also um, this two inch here to the left. All right, we're getting everything cleaned up. We're going to sanitize this area here. So we've got uh, we've got Enrique here getting everything disposed. Look at the uh, yep. So we'll get all this sanitized underneath this tub area where the acti activity is, and then we're going to do a lot of exclusion work directly underneath that uh, that tub. All right, guys. So we found something really interesting. This area is the runway for sure. So they're either coming from the bottom up, which I think they are, but the guys are gonna go up into the attic. We're gonna shut our lights off and we're gonna see if we could see their light all the way down here because I think they're running back and forth. We found a tunnel vision or a tunnel that leads directly to this pipe right here. So we're gonna shut the lights off and see if we see any light from the guys up into the attic. Oh yeah, I can. You see any light? Yes, I do. Oh, I'm you do? Like, yes. Where? Do it again, guys, bright. Got it. See, it is right there, guys. There's the light. There's the light right there. Hey, Jim, this is what we found up in the attic. This is that four inch line that goes up. Oh, look at that. Into the attic. So they tunneled? Yep. There was a tunnel system to this area, okay. and there's a big hole right there next to the pipe. Okay. So I think what we ought to do then, Dalton, is let's do the exclusion up top in the attic, and we'll set up a trail cam here. Okay. All right, let's do that now. Sounds good. So here's the bathroom. Here's that tub, and then where they're hearing the scratching is right here. So here's that toilet, and then that, that pipe goes all the way up like this. So let's head up to the attic. So here's the tunnel, guys. Obviously, my guys had to, had to disrupt the tunnel, but here's the tunnel that they made. And then the area where they were uh, going through, this is their runway right here. You see all that brown right there? That, that's the area where they were going down right there. Look at that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and... Uh, exclude this right here set some traps up here but i think there's another there's another tunnel i believe yeah look at this right here guys there's another one right there so they've just been migrating here's a here's an area here for sure that we're gonna have to look into there's a tunnel there man i was here yesterday guys uh, during the observation there was a tunnel. I picked up two carcasses. They were on this trap here. You can see the blood. The snap trap really got this one right here that I picked up and bagged up yesterday. Here's another tunnel. Here's one of those uh, repellents, guys. You can see that this obviously does not work. They they really don't care about these uh, noise repellents. See, there's look at the nesting materials, guys. That's why they love that insulation right there. So we're gonna expose this right here with all that clear. That's where they were coming through, guys. So we're going to go ahead and exclude that right there, all the way around. We're going to put uh, pure black foam in there and then net it off. All right, guys, we're going to go back under. I'm going to put this trail cam underneath the crawl space for the night. We're going to set a bunch of traps and see if we can get any activity in the uh, in the camera and the traps, especially that she's hearing it down below in the tub area. All right, guys, so we uh, cleaning the pipe here. I'm going to put, put, try to put a uh, sticky glue trap on top of that because we know that they're utilizing this. We're going to get a variety of traps. We've got some Almond Joy bait there. Got some uh, granola over here. So we're gonna we're gonna bait this section up here and then put our night vision camera trail cam and see what we can get tonight. Hopefully we can get quite a bit here. We'll see. So you can see here on the pipe here we've got glue traps. We've got a snap trap on that side. We've got two snap traps on this side. So hopefully uh, and then we've got the camera set up right there. All right. So just wanted to give you a visual. All right. So I set some traps up above in the attic too. So we can kind of determine if there's any activity up there. So we've got traps down below with the trail cam and then traps up above in the attic. All right, so we're doing a uh, perimeter check, guys. Hey, Jim. Yeah. Look at this. There's the spot. Looks like, anytime I hear Dalton say, hey, Jim, that's a good <laughs> sign. What do you got? Look at that. Oh. 
sample space. Right there. Good find. Dalton the Brown. There's some uh, secretion as well. Right into the crawl space, guys. Good find, Dalton. Really good find. All right, guys. So it looks like we found the uh, entry point here. So they've been squeezing into the crawl space from there. You could see the uh, brown smear marks on the top right there. So definitely going to close this up right here. All right, guys. Good find. That one little hole, that penetration is allowing the rats to go into the crawl space, up through that four inch uh, sewer vent, all the way up to the attic. So uh, good find for Dalton. Awesome, awesome. So now we're just gonna sit and we're gonna monitor for the next couple of days and see what we can do to get some rats out of the house because they're probably up in the ad attic or in that crawl space. So we'll give it a few days with our trail cam, see what we find. Good day today though. All right guys, it's been about two days. I'm gonna go in the crawl space, check the camera, check the traps, see if we have any activity. If not, we're gonna head up to the attic. Nothing, no activity whatsoever guys. All right, we gotta head up to the attic now. Man, I was really hoping to get something in there. So I checked the uh, trail cam, no activity whatsoever. So I think they're stuck up in the attic, which is good. So let's head up there and see if we have any activity on those uh, traps and we're gonna set up the trail cam up there. So guys, all of this has been disturbed. So the rats were trying to get back out of their exit and they were scrounging around. So they completely disturbed all of this. So I've got the camera now set up at that angle. And then I put a, uh, a trap right here going into that that burrow all right so we'll monitor here for the next few days all right guys we're back at Wendy and Jason's after about 10 days of monitoring great success no noise at all inside the wall no activity so awesome awesome we're going to be closing up a few things today so it looks like we found a breach over by the uh, chimney so we're going to take a look at that right now so that could be definitely another entry point we're going to go up to that roof right now i right, got a big branch right here we're going to try to break it Wendy and Jason are going to cut all this off right here, which we told them uh, it's imperative that they do. All right, so here's the chimney here. Get up on the roof here. Here's the uh, here's the chimney here, guys. And see that hole that goes right into the attic? All right, guys, we're using our pure black. I'm going to go ahead and just inject a bunch of foam back here, and then I'm going to infuse a bunch of wire mesh as well. It's taking in a lot. There's a big gap right there. You can see some of the uh, the smear marks that are going down into that hole. So we foamed all this, put the composite roof with metal screen below that so they're not getting back in. Plus, they're going to be removing all of these trees that are overhanging on the house here. So that's going to be a huge benefit. Good find. Really, really good find right here. All right, guys, we've done the exclusion work here. We're just doing some final cleaning right here. So we meshed that, then used our pure black foam. All right, we're gonna go and do the exclusions underneath the uh, the bathtub. So we're gonna add some some wire mesh. We'll double double layer the wire mesh, and then we create a little hole, and then we inject the pure black spray foam inside that uh, that opening. So we're gonna begin to do that now. And we also went up to the roof and performed all the exclusions up on the vent. So those are all sealed off. Well guys, another successful rodent control job here. Uh, truly, truly happy with uh, with the results here. And so is uh, Wendy and Jason. Really good find up on that chimney underneath and that hole near the condenser. Hey guys, leave your comments down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button please. And we'll see you on the next one.